Hello everybody, welcome to learning class. So today we are going to do the reading answers of a passage. The title of the passage is Educating Psyche. So we have 14 questions with us. Let's begin with the first four questions which are MCQs. So the first question is the book Educating Psyche is mainly concerned with. Okay, so its answer is in the first paragraph. Let's read it out. Educating Psyche by Bernie Neville is a book which looks at radical new approaches to learning, describing the effects of emotion, imagination, and the unconscious on learning. One theory discussed in the book is that proposed by George Lozanov, which focuses on the power of suggestion. Okay, so they are talking about that the book Educating Psyche is mainly concerned with. So what is the main thing in the book Educating Psyche? So our first option is the power of suggestion in learning. But here we know that in the passage it has been written that one theory discussed in the book. So the power of suggestion, it is a theory that is written in the book, but it is only one of many theories. The book is not overall about the power of suggestion. It just contains the topic of power of suggestion. So this can be our answer because in the question they are asking that the book is mainly concerned with what? Okay, now the second option is a particular technique for learning based on emotions. In the second paragraph, first line, they talk about that Lozanov's instructional technique is based on the evidence. You know, so he uh, told a technique which was based on evidence, but here they are talking about the technique based on emotions. So that is why second option also cannot be the answer. And the third option is that the effects of emotion on the imagination and unconscious. They have written that the book describes the effects of emotion, imagination and the unconscious on learning. So there are the effects of emotion, imagination and unconscious on learning, not the effects of emotion on imagination and unconscious. So that is why this is wrong and so C is not the answer. The correct answer is D and that is that the book is mainly concerned with ways of learning which are not traditional. So the ways of learning which are not traditional means ways of learning which are modern, which are new. And here in the very first line it has been written that the book looks at radical new approaches to learning. So that is why this is the answer. Now the second question, Lazanov's theory claims that when we try to remember things, okay, so what Lazanov's theory tells about when we try to remember things, you know, okay, so let's read it out the second paragraph where they were telling about the technique. Lazanov's instructional technique is based on the evidence that the connections made in the brain through unconscious processing, which he calls non-specific mental reactivity, are more durable than those made through conscious processing. So durable means long lasting, which means that they are saying when the brain processes something unconsciously, it remains for longer time as compared to the things which the brain processes consciously, which means uh, that the things that we do not try to learn, uh, we easily learn them. But the things that we actually try to learn, we do not remember them if we uh, try to remember them after a very long period of time. Okay, so this is what the theory states. Besides the laboratory evidence for this, we know from our experience that we often, so even from our experience, we often remember that what we have perceived peripherally, peripherally means uh, like superficially, you know, we are not trying to focus on uh, knowing something, but it actually uh, comes in our mind, you know, the unimportant details of something like that uh, remotely uh, that we have perceived long after we have forgotten what we set out to learn. Okay, so from our, our own experience also, we know that we easily remember the unimportant details and not the important ones. Even in the next lines, uh, he has given some examples like, uh, if we uh, try to remember what we studied in a book, we do not remember it. But instead, what we remember is the color of the book, the binding of the book, the table at the library where we sat while studying it. So these are the things that we remember, but not the actual content of the book. So that is why the option A is our answer. And that is 
unimportant details are the easiest to recall. So when we try to remember things, we easily remember the unimportant details. So this is the answer. Second option was concentrating hard produces the best results. So he has not told so that if we, if we will concentrate hard, then it would produce the best results. No. So this is not our answer. And the third option is that the most significant facts are most easily recalled. So this is totally wrong because he is saying that the most unimportant facts are the ones that are most easily recalled. And the last option is that peripheral vision is not important. He has talked about peripheral vision, but he has not talked whether it is important or not important. So the option of second, so the answer of sorry, second question is A. And now let's see what the third question is. In this passage, the author uses the examples of a book and a lecture to illustrate that. So as we were reading that he used the example of a book. Now he also used the example of a lecture. If we think of a lecture, we listened to with great concentration, we will recall the lecturer's appearance and mannerisms, our place in the auditorium, the failure of the air conditioning much more easily than the ideas we went to learn. So what we listened in the lecture, we do not remember, but we remember all these unimportant details at where we were sitting in the lecture hall or what was the appearance of the lecturer and the manner in which he was teaching us. So these things we will remember, but not the uh, content which we listened to. So why the author used the, these examples of book and lecture? So it is very easy that he want to stay that, state that his theory about methods of learning is valid. The theory that he firstly told us about that we easily remember unimportant details and now he is providing evidence, giving examples to illustrate his theory uh, that it is valid. So B option is our answer. Let's see what was the A option. Both of these are import, important for developing concentration. No, it was not so written in the passage. C option is reading is a better technique for learning than listening. It was not written, you know. Uh, okay. And the last option is we can remember things more easily under hypnosis. It has been written here in the next line. Even if these peripheral details are bit elusive, elusive means like hard to find or remember, you can say in this situation, they come back readily in hypnosis. Okay, so when we are under hypnosis, these peripheral details, unimportant details come easily to our mind. Okay, so it has been written. But remember, what was the question? The question was why author used the examples of book and lecture, but this Though it is true, this option is true, but it is not connected to the examples of book and lecture. So that is why D is not our answer and our answer is option B. Now let's see what the fourth question is. Lezanov claims that teachers should train students to. So what should teachers train students to do? Okay, so the answer is here. Lezanov Lozanov, whatever the name is, okay, therefore made indirect instruction central to his teaching system. So he gave instructions to the teachers that what they should uh, tell students to do, okay, in Suggestopedia as he called his method. So his method was called Suggestopedia by him. Consciousness is shifted away from curriculum to focus on something peripheral. So what the syllabus is, the concentration from that should be shifted towards uh, something unimportant, something peripheral. The curriculum then becomes peripheral and is dealt with by the reserve capacity of the brain. Because Lezanov has stated in his theory that unimportant details are the easiest to recall. So he is trying to make the curriculum the peripheral, the unimportant thing. So uh, if we will think that the curriculum, the syllabus that we have to learn is unimportant, then we will easily recall it. We will easily learn it, remember it. So this is the thing that he is uh, telling his teachers to do to, the, to do to their students. Okay, so that is why the answer is option C, uh, that he is saying that teachers should train students to think about something other than the curriculum content, so that the curriculum content becomes the unimportant thing and then it could be easily learned. So let's see what was the A option. Memorize details of the curriculum. Definitely not because he is saying opposite to this. 
B option is they develop their own sets of indirect instructions. No, they are. Uh, he is not saying to tell them to uh, make their own sets of instructions. No, and the last option, avoid overloading the capacity of the brain. He is not talking about overloading the capacity of brain, whatever. So the option C is the answer of the question four. Next are true false not given questions. Questions five to ten. Okay, so the statement of the fifth question is in the example of suggestopedic teaching in the fourth paragraph, the only variable that changes is the music. Okay, so this we will find in the fourth paragraph as stated in the question. So in the fourth paragraph, they are talking about a session. The session is in two parts. Okay, so in the first part, the music is classical and the teacher reads the text slowly and solemnly with attention to the dynamics of the music. The students follow the text in their books. So this is what happens in the first part. Okay, now we have to see because in the question they are telling that the only variable that changes is the music. That means we have to see that in the second part music will be changed but the way in which teacher reads the text that is slowly and solemnly must not change if the statement is to be true and the students should follow the text in their books as they did in the first part. So now let's see what is the second part. This is followed by several minutes of silence. In the second part, they listen to Baroque music. So that is the uh, category of music that has been changed. While the, re while the teacher reads the text in a normal speaking voice, so it is stated that the way in which teacher reads the text has also been changed and during this time they have their books closed. So the students in the first part they have their books opened and they followed the text while the teacher read. But now in the second part the students have closed their books. So music is not the only variable that changes even the manner of uh, reading that the teacher takes also changes and even the uh, opening and closing of books it is different in the different parts so music is not the only variable that changes that is why the answer is false okay now sixth question Prior to Suggestopedia class, students are made aware that the language experience will be demanding. Demanding means like difficult, you know. So before the Suggestopedia class starts, students are made aware that the language experience will be difficult, you know, to grab. Okay, now let's see what's written in the passage about this. So in the next paragraph, they have written the first word beforehand, which means they are talking about before the Suggestopedia class, means prior to the Suggestopedia class. The students have been carefully prepared for the language learning experience, but how they are prepared that uh, whether it would be difficult, they are told, or whether it would be easy, they are told. We'll see in the next lines. Through meeting with the staff and satisfied students, they develop the expectation that learning will be easy and pleasant and that they will success learn several hundred words of the foreign language during the class so they are made aware that the learning will be easy now it is opposite to the statement because in the statement it was written that it will be demanding so definitely the answer would be false and now the next question in the follow-up class the teaching activities are similar to those used in conventional classes so there would be one follow-up class and in that class the teaching activities that are used are similar to those used in conventional classes conventional means like traditional you know so now let's see the next paragraph some hours after the two-part session okay there is a follow-up class so there is a follow-up class at which the students are stimulated to recall the material presented okay now they are you know told to recall uh, whatever they can of the material that was presented before this follow-up class once again the approach is indirect the students do not focus their attention on trying to remember the vocabulary so they do not deliberately try to remember the vocabulary but they instead focus on using the language to communicate example through games or improvised dramatizations such methods are not unusual in language teaching so they are saying that such methods that are used in this suggestopedia class follow-up class are not unusual not unusual means they are usual 
Okay, so these methods that are used in this follow-up class are usual in language teaching, which means that in traditional classes, in conventional classes also, these methods are used and that is why these methods are usual. So definitely the answer would be true because yes, the teaching activities that are used in this follow-up class are similar as those used in conventional classes. Now let's move on to the eighth question. As an indirect benefit, students notice improvements in their memory. So there are improvements in their memory as an ind indirect benefit of this class. So okay, uh, let's see. Let's uh, firstly read the paragraph. We have read until here. Let's read what's written next. What is distinctive? So now they have told the similarity. What is the similarity between the conventional classes and the uh, suggestopedia class? Okay, now they're talking about the distinction, like the difference, you know, between these classes, these methods used is that they are devoted entirely to assisting recall. The learning of the material is assumed to be automatic and effortless accomplished while listening to music. So the learning is automatic and effortless. Okay, the teacher's task, what teacher has to do is to assist the students to apply what what they have learned para consciously and in doing so to make it easily accessible to consciousness so this is a difference between the methods and now they are talking about another difference you know so there are two differences another difference from conventional teaching is the evidence that students can regularly learn thousand new words of a foreign language during a suggestopedic session as well as grammar and idiom now this means that the students who attend the suggestopedic class can easily learn new words, thousand new words of a foreign language during the session, which uh, the students that attend the conventional classes cannot, which means that definitely there are improvements in their memory because they can easily remember the new words of a foreign language. But now what is written in the statement is that, that this is an indirect benefit. In the whole paragraph, there they have firstly told about the similarity and then they have told about the difference and then they have told about the another difference. So in the another difference, they have told that there is a benefit that they can learn thousand new words, but they have not told any other benefit. So how can we know that whether this benefit they have told is direct or indirect? Even they have not mentioned those words, you know, that whether it is a direct benefit or an indirect benefit. And they have not mentioned any other any, any benefit also. So we don't know. We know that this is a benefit, but we don't know whether it is an indirect benefit or direct benefit. So that is why the answer is not given. Okay. So it is a thing that you should remember that even if half of the statement is true, and the other half it is not written about uh, it has been not written about that in the whole passage then the answer would be not given okay because the whole statement needs to be true if the answer is gonna be true okay so now let's see what's the ninth question teachers say they prefer suggestopedia to traditional approaches to language teaching in the whole paragraph again they have talked about the suggestopedia classes and the traditional approaches but and also they have stated that what the teacher's task is to assist these students to apply what they have learned paraconsciously but they have not told about the preference of teachers that whether teachers prefer the suggestopedia classes or whether teachers prefer the conventional classes so again the answer would be not given and now the last true false not given question students in a suggestopedia class retain more new vocabulary than those in ordinary classes so this we know that the answer is true because in the last three lines we have read that uh, the students that uh, regularly learn a thousand new words of a foreign language during a suggestopedia session as well as grammar and idiom and this was the difference from conventional teaching which means that that students who attend conventional teaching classes cannot learn these many words okay so definitely the answer is gonna be true moving on to the questions 11 to 14 so here we are given some options a to k and we have to fill the answers of 11 to 14 so let's see 
Suggestopedia uses a less direct method of suggestion than other techniques such as hypnosis. However, Lazanov admits that a certain amount of Okay, so the answer of 11th is F, which is ritual. So a certain amount of ritual is necessary in order to convince students, even if this is just a, answer is H of 12th question, which is placebo. Placebo is a thing, you know, that we uh, do in order to satisfy our mind. It has no effects uh, whatsoever. So Lezanov uh, admits that in order to convince students, you know, to do this, to uh, d uh, attend the Suggestopedia class, uh, that there needs to be a certain amount of ritual, you know, in order to convince them, even if this is just a placebo, even if this is just to uh, convince students. That is what he is trying to say. So let's see wh where this is written in the passage. Here is the location of questions 11 and 12. Lazanov acknowledges that the ritual surrounding suggestion in his own system is also a placebo, but maintains that without such a placebo, people are afraid to tap the reserve capacity of their brains. So Lazanov says that uh, they have to perform this ritual, which is actually a placebo, because uh, without this ritual, people would not be able to tap the reserve capacity of their brains. So to convince students, that it would be right, you know, to perform, to attend the Suggestopedia class, they would have to perform some kind of ritual, which is actually just a placebo. So, the answer of the 11th question is that, however, Lazanov admits that a certain amount of F, F is ritual, so definitely certain amount of ritual is needed in order to convince students, even if this is just a placebo, okay. So now let's see next. Furthermore, if the method is to succeed, teachers must follow a set procedure. Although Lozanov's method has become quite K option that is well known. So they are saying that Lozanov's method has become quite well known, quite famous. Okay, so here's the location of the 13th question. While Suggestopedia has gained, so Suggestopedia is the Lozanov's method. So Suggestopedia has gained some notoriety. So notoriety means famous. You know, when it is, when something is famous, but typically it is used when something is famous uh, in doing bad deeds, you know. But we can see that well-known has been used as a synonym to this neutrality word uh, through success in the teaching of modern languages. So definitely the answer of the 13th question is well-known that Suggestopedia has become quite well-known. The results of most other teachers using this method have been G option and that is unspectacular. So most of the teachers that use this method the results they have obtained are unspectacular so let's see so here they were writing that few teachers are able to emulate emulate means uh, copy you know uh, in a sense the spectacular results of Lozanov and his associates so the spectacular results which Lozanov has attained only a few teachers are able to obtain those spectacular results which means because in the question they were asking about most of the teacher we can say if few teachers are able to obtain spectacular results we can easily say that most teacher would be able to obtain unspectacular results so that is why the answer of 14th is unspectacular so with this the reading passage is over i hope you would have understood all the questions and uh, the locations you have come to know from where the answers came so if you have still any doubt you can just ask me in the comment section that's for today thanks